Hello everyone, you're here with me again with uh, Te Yumai by Yum Monk and we are now on our last episode. Thank you so much for coming today and thank you so much for um, being here with us until um, since the first episode. Okay, and today we are also with our special monks again. So please join me in welcoming them by bowing three times. Bow. 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 Hi. Hello, everyone. My name is Mang Nemichon. You can call me uh, Mang Ne in the short name. And welcome everyone again to the last episode that I'm very appreciate that I do something that I never done before. And this is the first time, right? For the program, Clear Your Mind by Your Mang. I hope everyone can learn everything that have meaningful for your life and you can sharing the good thing that you learned from the episode for your family, for your friends and everyone that you love. So enjoy in the last episode. Now. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mang Kri. It's like trees in the garden. Um, you can call me Mang Tree because um, I don't have any nickname. So um, I'm very happy to be a guest of the Clear My by Your Mang this program again. Because and uh, I can have share my Mang life too. Um, and I think this uh, topic is uh, very uh, very interesting because it's talk about us. Uh, a global warming and how it match with the mindfulness and meditation. So it's very, uh, like, uh, very interesting music and we see a weird is on the talking of the people about global warming and and meditating too. So now, so now we are gonna show that how mindfulness meditation match with the global warming too in this program is very interesting and challenge for me too. Before we get to that, share Dhamma or Wisdom Talk. So please, let's do meditate together. Now, so please find your comfortable sitting position. The right sitting position is half lotus position or cross-legged. You can sit on the floor or on a cushion on the floor. Put your right leg over the left leg your right hand over your left hand, thumbs up. Put your right index finger touching the left thumb. Put your hand on your left, softly and gently adjust your body until you feel calm and loose and relax. Your back, your neck, should be aligned. But if you cannot sit the floor, you may sit on the chair, a sofa. 
if you sit on the chair, this sit on the right position. Put your legs down, your feet touch the ground, your right hand over your left hand and palms up, right index finger touching the left thumb, back straight, do not bend it down, if you feel relaxed and ready, now gently close your eyes, close your eyes gently, softly. Do not crush or fall to close your eyelids. Close it down softly. Then adjust your body again every part of your body should be relaxed. Relax all the muscles of your body from the head, your forehead, your eyelids, your mouth, your neck, your shoulders, your back, your abdomen, your waist, your leg, down to your toes. Those should be relaxed. When you feel relaxed and comfortable, now you can mindfulness your mind. Start by Breathing. Breathing softly and gently. Then slowly and gently to breathe out. Breathing in again to bring fresh air, joy, happiness, and all positivities into your body, then breathe out, bring out negativities, suffering, pain out of your body, then Breathing in again, slowly and gently, 
and breathe out. Do it. Continually. Until you reach to the inner happiness. In and out. In and out. In and out. Do not rush. Do not fight. In the breathing, it has to be slowly, gently, and relaxed. If you rush, you will be tired. And then you may imagine somewhere that only one, only you, on that place, no one surrounding you. It may be bees, islands, or mountain or the sky, the forest, anywhere that you can be with yourself. Because meditation is the time for you to clear your mind with yourself. No one can control you, can disturb you. You are the only one that can control yourself. This is your time that the mind will be with you. You will think you are alone with fresh air with the sounds of sunshine you can hear the sound of the wind like a whisper birds are flying fish are swimming. You are the only one in that place. This is the time that you can feel the real inner happiness. No one can disturb you. You can be alone and private at this time. But if your mind wonder, think about anything that happened in the past, or worry about the future. Don't worry. It is the nature of your mind. Just let them away and then retry to put your mind in the center of the body again the center of your body is two inches above the navel 
it is only in meditation there's no seven bears be an organ imagine somewhere at that point to be the center of the body this point that can you can concentrate your mind over there because to be better with meditation mindfulness and comfort has to be together you try to put your mind at the center of the body but it softly and gently If it disappear, just try to bring it softly again and again. Now, please meditate in silence for a moment. There is a calmness, happiness, and joyfulness within your body and your mind. So now, please share your loving and kindness energy to people around you. To your family members, to people in your city, to people in your country, to every people around the world. May this be healthy, wealthy. And how happiness lies, not suffering, not painful. They'll be happy together. s a p p a t a n u p a v e n a s a p p a t a m a n u p a v e n a s a p p a s a n g k a n u p a v e n a s a t h a s o t i j i พระวันโตเตน Now gently open your eyes softly and gently but still remain calm at the center of your body How was everyone Do you feel good That was very lovely Thank you so much m o n t r e e Help me calm down more in so many ways. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, and let us start with the first question, which I would like to ask m a g n e m i t r o n first. Uh, m a g n e m i t r o n I just want to know your general idea of like what is your perspective on um, global warming. If you could um, share with us on that. Yes, thank you for the question. For my perspective about global warming, is it something that the nature uh, want everyone around the world to look back to the something that very important, and this is the something is it like the climate change, global warming, that have effect to 
everything, everyone, every being, especially for the the human, right? And this is a something that some activity right now or the modern day, we do some some activity that relate with the uh, carbon dioxide, right? And and the carbon dioxide that come to the atmosphere, and you know about the greenhouse effect that have the some atmosphere that can protect the the sun, but right now is something that destroy atmosphere that destroy or the greenhouse that destroy, and it like the barrier that protect. From the sun that destroy and can less the quality to protect the sun, and you know, if the sun can pass to and come to the the earth or the environment, the or the environment that we live and have effect to activity to natural, especially for uh, the first one. And can call the the nature, the weather, right? That temporarily that increase more than before, and have effect to the the ocean, right? If the western ice that melting away, and you can imagine the picture, the whole picture that come up, it have a lot of uh, a lot of water from the sea that flooding come to everyone. And destroy everything. And for the temporary, that we know, that's not good, right? Right now it's not good. We call it hot more than before. I just remember when I was young, when I go to when I went to school, that in the morning is so very happy because the fresh air is so good come to my, uh. My body is so very good and very happy, and I take a moment to see around and oh, look everything that in environment that very good and the fresh air come to me that make me feel happy. But nowadays the morning is so hot more than before, and that have effect to everyone also. Sometimes effect with the physical body first, and then have have effect to the mood. Sometimes most of The people angry because uh, feeling hot, hot weather come, <laughs> and it's not good to the long term. We need to protect our planet, our world. We start to do something that have that have benefit for the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mang and Mitron, for um giving up uh, giving us the information about global warming on how the carbon dioxide affect us, and as well as um your perspective on how the um global warming issue it doesn't only affect us like physically but um emotionally as well. And <clears throat> excuse me, now that you mentioned about the hot weather and. I remember, you know, like um, very clearly that when I'm in Hawaii, like I don't have that problem of like, oh my God, is it so hot today? But I remember like um, two years ago when I went back to Thailand, I'm like, oh geez, this like it was really hot, and I kind of got like frustrated a little bit, you know. So it does affect um, our moods and the way we think and the way we react to other things as well. And you know, it come from the human more than anything. <laughs> come from the human. Yes, we need to do something that can heal the world, heal the nature again. That is very true. Yeah. Thank you, Mang Nemitron. Okay. Um, Mang Tri, how about you? I want to know um your. You know your routine as a monk, and how do you think that uh, your daily activities um give impact to um the global warming, or how do you reduce? How do you help to reduce the issue in this? Okay, thank you very much, Indeshade. Very 
Um, good question. Um, for as a monk life, so we have to think first of all because we live on what people donate. So when we can use something, we have to think that of we use the thing that people they respect us and then they donate us because they believe um, in monk in in uh, in, in Buddhist um, so we, and they want to get married back so we have to respect them by using what they donate worthy worthy uh, so do not use later uh, like it, it, it always no we have to think a lot when we use anything that for example um, electricity so what about well, if you no one in room but then but we turn on the air condition and a light and no one in the room so no one use that room but we use what what does it mean who gonna pay for for the electricity who gonna pay for the bill monk doesn't have a, a salary to afford ourselves we have to ask uh, the money from people to donate and then to pay for the pay for the bill but if you use that one so it's gonna be a waste of money so like the water if it's we let uh, water leaking and not fix it. So how can we gonna pay for the water bill? So we have to think a lot to save as much as we can and pay less. And because we have to think that we live on a, what people donate us. This is the way we can like um, show uh, adapt our life to reduce global warming. Thank you very much, Mantri. And I agree with everything you said. And I'm sure that, um, you know, the people who donate, <laughs> excuse me, uh, the people who donate to you and other monks, they must feel uh, very uh, happy to hear that, how much you appreciate them and how much you really care about, you know, um, using the electricity, using the water and other stuff that they donate to utilize at um, its best. And when, when you live in like um, the mindful way like that, it, it does help reduce a lot. Thank you, Mang Tri. Okay, let's move on to the next question with um, Mang Nemitron. I would like to know um, what are some changes do you want to see in the community when people are like more aware about the global warming? Oh, good question. Thank you for the good question. For me, the important thing that I would like to uh, do something or can make other people in the community just look back to the habit. It like to change the habit. It like to change the habit for the new, the new way, the new lifestyle. Because we do something, the same habit that have effect to the nature, to the world. It like the use plastic, right? And in the long term, we don't think about, uh, we don't think about in the long term, but for the short term, it's so very convenient. It's so very easy to use. But when we do something like right, that, it's not good for the long term. And then right now, the, the nature tell us or the climate change come because something from the habit that we do the same habit. So the best solution, just look back to use the, the new habit. It like to save energy. Uh, can reduce the carbon dioxide. Example, if you, if you stay in the room and you use the air condition and make sure that you use the temporary 25 ohms Celsius, it's good and can save energy. And when you use the electronic or if you don't use or uh, don't, don't use, just push back out. And then when you come to use again, just back out, just back in. And you know, uh, when we travel, most of us sometimes use 
the car you the uh, motorcycle that can make the pollution like the carbon dioxide and the best way if if you go to somewhere that near you can walk to exercise or sometimes uh, ride the bicycle to save energy to make yourself exercise <laughs> that's good and you know sometimes like the bus like the plastic that we should to use the cost back uh, when you go to 7-eleven or go to some market just use the cost back and then the cost back can use it again and again that can save the environment and better more than plastic right and if the people around the world aware or look in habit more than before that can change the habit in a better way and can know how to heal the world know how to reduce the carbon dioxide because we can do it together just uh, pan the tree right but the solution can do it together with everyone start with you first and then you can let other people know about the climate change know about the global warming is not good in the long term and we need to do it together with everyone around the world and right now we have green please right that aware about the nature and if everyone aware like the green please can make the society make the nature become better more than before thank you Thank you so much, Magna Neutron. Yes, uh, I agree that, you know, just the simplicity of the monk life. And if we can like change the habits and look at you guys at the example, I think we can um, help in a lot of ways, you know, just from our small actions. And well, I have to admit that, you know, sometimes I'm not very mindful about like the things I have to. Um, from like belongings to electricity. Sometimes um, I leave the TV on, not even like watching it. You know, sometimes I lose my stuff often and then like I gotta buy new ones. So it's not um, only where's the, my belongings, but it's also where's more money as well. So you guys are such um, a great example um, to help like toward global warming and I hope that one day you guys can um, join Greenpeace and maybe the Hmong life example, you know, can be shown to other people around the world that maybe like a simpler life is um, that what we really looking for. Yes, it's, it's awesome. Just be contentment. Mm -hmm. Everything that we have, uh, right? A good relationship, like the stuff that we have right now. Or you the simple line not to buy more or something that oh you buy more and that change all the time because it's it like the innovation in like the fashion that change all the time <laughs> and yeah. if look back and observe the stuff that we have just feel contentment and mm -hmm. just feel good feel happy with something that we have and like the simple line yes that's that's the best and it's, it's very hard to do even for me. I still like, oh, I still want to buy so many things that I will be more mindful from now. And I think the one point, uh, you, you say that the small thing, right? The small thing that we do, but it just, it have impact. Yeah. If we do and we pay the forward to someone, pay the forward to everyone, do the goodness do something that can heal the world that can make impact to the world better thank you so much i appreciate your answer okay um let's move on to the next question uh how about you mark tree so i i know that um you, you guys live um in a very mindful way of living but i feel like there's still some of other aspects that can um, cause more um, 
problems to what climate change as well. That is, is not from you, but when you do arms offering, you know, and especially in Thailand, when people offer food, you know, from their kindness, which is um very amazing, but they still use um so many plastic bags like on a daily basis. Do you think there is like something that we can work together to reduce that amount of plastic offered? Uh, yeah. yeah. So now because um um okay, I think so. Because now sometimes when monks go for arms, uh, go for food, and then yeah, most people will. Um, offer food with a plastic bag. So because it, it's, I know it is a convenience for their life. So we have to to think about that 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 point too. Because sometimes um you would, uh, people might not like feel oh put their um hot rices in your arm bowl just now because um, because it's gonna be dirt and something. So at that point we have to accept that um we might have to get get plastic plastic bag, but the way we do after that, so we have to think about uh, the cycle um, to reuse it again. So we get a plastic bag and then uh, after use, so if it's still clean and still usable, so we just clean and then keep it for use it next time. Like um, um, I, I used to live in the a temple for, I can give an example in Oregon before when people offer food to the monk, we put it in, uh, in the, maybe at the uh, uh, paper box or a plastic bag, a plastic box, plastic container and something. Oh, if, if, so we, after we take the food out, so we clean it, clean it and keep it and keep it for a while. Once, like sometimes they come to the t eat to sample and then after the, after the eating, uh, there might be some food left so I asked them, yeah, you can get it, get it to your home. So you'd have to buy it more. So that's for your next meal. And then what happened? I bring all that container that I have. Yeah, this is your container. Just give it, take it back. So it's a kind of like the way to reuse it. This is a very simple way. But if you have more uh, place to reuse it, to like to throw it and for reuse it, so yeah, you can. You can go on that plate, but at that point uh, in Thailand, um, is it not much of that place like in the United States? You have a lot, so many places that you can, yeah, I get it, go to, for the use it. So, this is, a, I think that the simple way that we can handle with a, um, a, um, um, for the, the plastic bag and something that we can reuse. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really like the method of um, reusing things, you know, and I feel like sometimes we don't do it enough because we are too lazy to clean, right? But um, it made me think that everything really start from you first. And, you know, like you said, even in Thailand, um, it may be hard to, you know, like tackle these problems, but you still like reuse the plastic, you still clean the plastics from the lay people and it just show how much you care. And if you don't like start um, doing that first, you know, all the plastics will also be wasted as well. So it really show how much um, you utilize your sources around you. That's very amazing, thank you. Okay, and um, the next question I want to ask both of you, since you know everyone learns so much on meditation from you and as well as the wisdom, and I want to know, is it possible even like how meditation can help us live more like a sustainable living? Is I think sometimes in in the way you might in the question. So at first of all, we might think that it's kind of like um, it's not, uh, impossible to like to compare compatible with uh, meditation and global warming because it's sometimes it's worldly and mindfulness sometimes is like um, how can you can help the to uh, relate that together? But I think it's a mind of all. 
it's kind of like we have to understand like deeper deeper a little bit with the meditation so because meditation is clear your mind right clear your mind to be clean to be not greedy not angry not everything but when you come turn your mind i at the first i think it was women um have the way to care of other people we have a kindness when we care of uh, other people so we may think that how can we can I help them develop our surrounding how how we can um help other people for the better life something okay we we need to teach meditate that that's okay that is the first the first thing we do but with more of that we may think oh, how how can we can I help them to live a uh, better how can we like develop our community to happy okay meditation yeah this uh, can help them happy but i mean by physical by physically so we have to ha- we can help them physically like oh, okay we have we want to be um have a good we want to have a good place good weather for meditation so how we can do it just like oh, okay uh, we have to stop like global warming we have to um clean clean the mind and one thing that my great master great master did, did teach me um to, to clean your mind you have it relate like uh, with the uh, cleaning your house so in physical you clean your house you clean everything make it clear make it simple and and the way you do once you clean your room i think that's physical it relate to your mind to be clear your mind in i mean this is like the first step in simple way clean your mind and when your mind is clean is um help you to reach inner happiness easier so everything is clean when i mean the way we clean um and i mean i clean your house clean everything so you think a lot that, that how can be like to be like to completely clean not just like oh oh there's a plastic bag throw away just throw it out of your house so that's not that's not the way because if you clean your house but dirt on the road right so you have to be clean and adjust it uh, declutter it everything manage it perfectly it is kind of like deep but i think we can do it yes I I think so too. I agree with you, you know, because um everything is really um come down to the mind of like how clean, how clear our mind is and be, that will affect everything else around us. We'll be more mindful, we'll be um more thoughtful of other people, you know, cuz the world doesn't like you know just around us, but is everybody is in the world together. Thank you very much, Mark Tree. And how about you, Mark Nemitron? What is um your perspective on this? Okay. Thank you for for the question. For me, I think that meditation that's so very important because this is the the best way for clean the mind. That the mind that relate with everything, such as the happiness. I said the unhappiness depend on the mind. If we can practice meditation, that can have effect to make yourself better first, right? Because if you do, you just feel uh, feel good with yourself. And the good idea is that if everyone practice meditation together, it like a way to create the peaceful community that. You can aware more than before. You like to look in, look within yourself, right? Because everything that from the social, from the environment that we look to outside, but the the roots, the roots of the problem, it from the mind. If it if we practice meditation, it like a way to look in yourself first, and then when the mind clear and clean. It like the the water. That if you don't practice meditation, it like the water that not clear. It like to have more day, not clear, not clean, and can see everything clearly, because it have a lot of dust in the water. 
But in the other hand, if for the someone or for the people that practice meditation, it like the mind is so very clear and can, it like the water that clear and can see everything clearly in, in yourself, it like the goodness, like the something that we need to aware about the caring other people, caring the nature, because the nature that have effect to us and people have, have effect to us also. If we practice meditation, we can create the peaceful energy and can sharing the peaceful energy to everyone that connect and the way that can make the environment good that practice meditation and you know for uh for for my perspective that come uh, that from the the monk monk three and that you discuss about clean the house it's so really related clean the house but before we clean the house we can clean the mind first right clean the mind first and then clean the house when you clean the house that that feel good and clean the mind that feel good also because everything that we clean we just feel good if something around us not uh, not organized and you cannot feel good because have many things, many ideas, many, many stuff. I can compare about the, the folder in, in the laptop or the computer. If we have many, many folder, but you don't forget what is very important, you cannot happy, right? When you, when you open your computer and you look, oh, very busy because have many many things but first of all just organize just do what is very important and uh, prioritize number one number two number three like the step one step two and step three and for the mind this is the step one to clean first to make yourself be contentment because every time that we practice meditation, we can come to the deep inside. And the inside like the, the feeling of happiness, the feeling of contentment. And when we have contentment, we can make the impact to the other people. So let, let come to meditate with me, something like that. Let come to meditate with me and just, just feel good because it's not, not to have more stuff, right? Just only to meditate and feel good, feel happiness. And this is a better way that we can choose to make the people learn how to practice meditation. That's very important because the mind that relates to responsibility with the, the people, with the friend, with the environment, right? And this is the solution why the meditation is so very important. Just try to do it together. Thank you. Thank you so much for you both. That was um, such a wonderful discussion. Thank you for um, allowing me to um, ask you questions. You know, and I hope that everyone um, enjoyed the topic too. Um, it was a, such a great discussion, and how we learned that you know from meditation and Buddha's teaching, it can really connect to everything from like friends and families to like racism to global warming and together we can like really do this together and I, I want to see maybe one day you guys can collab with Greenpeace and you can be um, the speakers and that, that would be very amazing to see and if, you, if everyone agree with me um, please type one okay so Let's um, in our um, program here. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, staying with us until the end for Clear Your Mind by Your Monk until our last episode. Now, please join me in paying our monks respect together by bowing three times. Bow. 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 
Okay. May the power of merit that we come to join in the program series clear your mind by your mind by practice meditation together learn about wisdom for have a good life and all of you to have good mind have clear mind have a good friend have a perfect family life successful in everything and attain true happiness soon um, okay bye everybody although our um program is ended but please stay tuned for other um programs from the middle way have a good day everyone Sato. thank you everyone also for uh learning every day right and monkey do you want to say something to someone a little bit <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching us and have if you have any feedback or uh, those your opinion you can put on the maybe the chat box right now and then we we'll read it and review and, and then try to be try to make it better, better and better. So now at the end uh, I would like to share my merit and um, I would like you to uh, be healthy and wealthy and happy life and reaching to the inner happiness easily. Thank you so much.